What's up, metalheads? It's the Hard Rock and Heavy Metal Truth with Josh and JJ. We're back. Did you miss us? Nope. I hear crickets. Sorry. Anyway, we are doing our year-end top 10 albums of 2013, and I've slaved over this list to get just exactly the way I want it. And I Gerald did. did it today in about an hour. No, I so. did But... No, I didn't do it this way. Yeah, it was this far. 2013's been a good year. Some shitty, a lot of shitty music. But for metal, it's been a pretty Chains. solid year. It's been a pretty solid year. Except for Bullet from a Valentine, Alice in Chains. You know, we didn't dig those too much. Go back, check out those videos. But uh, we're going to we're gonna hop right to it, man. There's too much news that's happened from our last video to now to even tell y'all anything. So we're just going to focus on these 20 albums that we think are the best in our heads. It could have Taylor Swift on there. I don't know. I don't know what he's got. He may just hit y'all with something crazy. Get him, JJ. Alrighty, we'll start off with number 10. AFI Burials. I really dig the album. I fell in love with it when I first heard it. And uh, to me, they seem like they're growing each time they put out an album. Number 9, let's go with some power metal. Stradivarius and Nemesis. Hell of a CD. A lot of great musical stuff in it. Number nine, we'll go with some Christian rock by the band I call Red. Uh, everyone calls them Red, actually. With Release the Panic. Great album came out this year. Like one of the best, one of the best rock ones I think of this year. Uh, number seven. A7X, Avenged Sevenfold, with Hail to the King. And to you people who hate it because it sounds like Metallica and Iron Maiden, fuck you because, yes it does, but it's got their own tweak on it, and it's like a tribute to all the bands they look up to, so fuck you if you hate it. Number six, a clusterfuck called Amaranth, with a Nexus. Well, what? You can't really... I don't know. That's the best way to describe it. Power metal and, me and hardcore, hardcore and melodic. Melodic Swedish death metal. It's got everything. She's so hot. So Go with video? Alright, sorry. Go with another cluster fact band at number five. A Day to Remember with Common Courtesy. This is a heavy CD for them though. It is. That's pretty damn heavy. Mm -hmm. but, you know, they got the punk and deathcore and... Mm -hmm. Metalcore and all that shit put in there. Going back to rock, number four, Alter Bridge and Fortress. Yeah, you know that band Creed, but with a better singer. That's nice Alter Bridge. Number three, going some metal gods here, Trivium. Loved them ever since Ascendancy. Still, I think Ascendancy is their best one, but this new one's still a masterpiece. And it's called Vengeance Falls. Number two, even though I hated Jesse to begin with on the very first CD, and then he came back and I thought it was going to be god awful, but no, it was fucking awesome. Kill Switch Engage with Disarm the Descent. Fucking awesome CD. Last one at number one for 2013, Volbeat. Outlaw Gentlemen and Shady Ladies. To That's me, the first one we reviewed. It was. And the to me the best one because they never disappoint. I love every single one of their CDs. That and CD made me want to do this show. Real fun story of that. Uh, that's my top ten of 2013. Josh. It's a good that's a good list. That's a very good list. Oh wait. What are we doing for yeah, go ahead. We'll do my honorable mentions will also include everyone he said that I don't say. Because he had a good list. Do I have to do my honorable mentions now? Yeah, you can. Okay. We'll say Rob Zombie for uh, bringing back old school zombie. So, hell yeah, it's Rob Zombie. Then we'll go with some um, Device, which is Disturbed with Balls. And then Clutch. Everyone wants some Clutch. Good old relaxed music. Uh, if we smoked good. weed, we would enjoy Clutch even more. Probably. All right, those are my honorable mentions. You good? Yeah. I'm going to do my honorable mentions first, because I want to end with the my top album 
and it scored very high with him too. So, but I'm gonna throw kill switch engage disarm the descent. If I did top eleven, it'd probably be eleven. Okay, I, I love that album. Um, Revocation, there have been not many people know about. It's a uh, I guess you call it it's in the thrash core because it's all the screaming and stuff, but it's a good band, very talented. And Sabbath, 13, their old asses hobbled out and made a pretty good CD, and they deserve it because without them, pretty good CD. Without them, we wouldn't have music to listen to. It'd be different. So Anyway, here it is, my top ten. I'm going to go with a band that I just recently saw in concert, open for Trivium. They're called After the Burial. And they play what's called Gent. It's getting very popular, and I'm becoming obsessed with it. But uh, heavy fucking band, and they are amazing live. If you get a chance to see them, please do that. Um, number nine, I'm going to go with a band out of Australia that I just recently found. They're very hard to find. <clears throat> like, their CD is not even a hard copy. You've got to fucking dig for it. But it's called Caligula's Horse, The Tide, The Thief, and The River's End. Give that shit a listen. Seriously, it's insane. Number eight, A Day to Remember. I'm going to go on there with Common Courtesy. They took four years to come out with it, and they gave us a damn good CD. I just got it for Christmas. Such a good album. I've been listening to it like crazy. Seven, I'm putting Ball Beat at seven. I, I love that album, but I'm, I'm going to give it a number seven on that one. The Outlaw Gentlemen, The Shady Ladies. Ball beat never disappoints though, and they're gonna continue to come out with good CDs. So number six, another new band, kinda unknown, Gemini Syndrome. If you like Mudvayne and old Alice in Chains and some screaming in your hard rock, maybe some tool thrown in there, damn good band. The lead singer looks like an albino, but he can sing his ass off. Number five is where I put the Vin Sevenfold Hell of the King. Um, not much more. JJ nailed it with what can be said about that album. It's a good, it's a good CD. Four, Stone Sour, House of Golden Bones, Volume 2. Uh, we didn't care for one all that much, but two really stood out, to me at least, a little more than J.J. probably, but I still listen to that CD probably a few times a month, so that's a great album. Three, band out of the UK named Evile, Straight Up Thrash. Y'all know it's, it's where my heart is, man. But uh, they just lost their guitarist. They're looking for a new guitarist. And I don't know if they're going to come out with a new album or not. We'll see what happens. But Evil Skull, great CD. If you like Thrash. Two, probably became my obsession this year. Carnival, out of Australia again. Another Australian band. But their CD, Asymmetry. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. That's the way this band is. It's, it's, it's just something different. I don't even know how to describe it. So, but uh, my number one is one of my favorite bands in the world. I think JJ had them in his top three. Trivium, Vengeance Falls. It's just really the perfect CD for this year. I mean, they had every single thing you could put into a record. David Draymond produced his ass off, and yeah, he sounds like disturbed a little bit on it, but uh, it's a killer record. I mean, every song front to back, it just, it's great. So, that's it. That's our top 10. Top 20, really. But, uh, because my 10 were much better than his. So, yeah. his was the more 11 to 20. Mine are the top 10. Even the same ones. My, even the ones that I had are the same are still better than his. So, but, uh, you know, it's been a good 2013. Guys, I hope that we keep doing this for 2014. I don't know what'll happen. We got a lot of shit going on. But, uh, to all 14 of you that's going to watch this, we appreciate it. And uh, give us a share. Give us a like. Give us something. Talk to us on Facebook. This guy will get back to you. Not your puppets, not your puppets entertainment. On YouTube, not on Facebook. Though. Yeah, on YouTube. Facebook, you can find us. We're not telling you our fucking names. So, other than the first names. We're out. Listen to metal! Happy New Year.